how excited are you guys to, to be putting this together again this year? I'm, I'm excited just to be able to be close to home and actually um, have everyone together for a little bit of time before we head down. So uh, I feel like we can we can really get something done this week and uh, head down to Wichita confident, getting some wins. This event's gotten bigger every year from a financial standpoint. Mm -hmm. How exciting is it to have this opportunity now to get together with almost all old teammates and play this kind of tournament? Um, it's always fun. And like you said, it's getting bigger every year. Um, you know, the ESPN network is all over it every game this year. I mean, my first year, um, only the second round, second and third rounds was on it. But, well, you know, you look at him. You just, you just, Tom you came and got everybody. Which I'll be. Pull up a chair. That's what y'all going to do. Pull okay. up a chair. Tom just messing, man. Anyways. That's the type of dude you today. Like Why me? <laughs> I don't expect it from DJ. But yeah, every year is 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 pretty good and it's well organized. One of the best events I've been a part of, um, and their sponsorship with Puma is big, so it's always fun. And then to have, like you said, in Wichita, I mean, that's a great opportunity to go play in front of a lot of fans, probably. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen, uh, you know, so via social media, a lot of people uh, say they're going to be attending. Um, I've ran into a couple people because I'm in Wichita a lot. Who's saying, you know, they can't wait for it. So hopefully we get a good turnout. Okay, your thoughts on your uniforms? Checkerboard? I think they're straight. I think they're cool. I don't I don't see a problem with them. I post them, I think it's fire. Yeah. Why'd you look at me like that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no issues. Yeah, right. That's why I'm sitting in the middle of that. <laughs> <laughs> When you're going through and you're putting together this team, like what is the process of contacting a guy? You know, like been with you before, how do you build a team for this for this event? You want me to answer? Well, I mean, I think we um everybody obviously is in different parts of their lives. So, you know, I'm here, Tay's there, DJ's there, but we all, you know, communicate with each other. So you know, I think we kind of got it started early. We wanted to get started early yeah. because last year we kind of felt like uh, a bit of a disappointment, you know. Um, but um, we reached out to each other early, tried to get the rosters going, and, you know, we really wanted to focus on it. Uh, we noticed, well, we wanted to focus on the more, like, around March, obviously, you know, because of the hype and everything, and that's when it was getting closer. So um, we just reached out to guys, and, you know, if you want to do it, be a part of it, cool. If not, it's okay, you know. You know, it's still family, so it's all right. Did you start at five, say it? <sighs> Probably not. No, not yet. <laughs> We got five players, I'm, but I mean, yeah, we just don't know who's starting yet. I don't, I, and for us, most of us are in our professional career. A lot of that doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, it's one of those situations where you you run into teams and everybody starts, but you know you put your egos aside because it's a lot of money that's on the line. So it's all about winning with us. You know, like it's a lot of money on the line, but it still is. I'm, tr I'm trying to ask is how much does it feel like playing a big full basketball game? Meaning, how much, how many sets are teams running? How up and down is it? How different does it feel than a college basketball game? Um, it's different just because you not. I mean, it's professionals, you know. So obviously, it's not going to be like the NBA or anything like that. But when you, you know, when you run across a guy that you played with overseas, you know, and you know, he's had a certain job that maybe you want, you know, something like that. It's a competitive nature. It's always going to be competitive against anybody. So, um, it's, it's, I mean, when, you, when you're professional, you don't really think about it like that. You just want to go out and play and at the same time enjoy and have fun, you know. So, I don't mean to put you on the spot too much here, but what is the roster that you know, like, most up to date that you guys will have? Uh, everyone that you see that we've announced on Twitter, uh, okay. myself, Tay, Gibb, uh, Marcus Foster, Marcus Addison, who played with us last year, uh, Javon Thomas, who we recently added, uh, Akeem Wright. I'm missing somebody. Justin so, Edwards. And Justin Edwards. Edwards. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we still, said Foster too, right? Yeah. yeah okay. Still, still looking to maybe do one or two additions. Just to be, have a solid nine. Um, I think that's that we'd be comfortable with that. But we're comfortable going in with what we got. Uh, we got some rotations, and it's not like last year where we uh, only have six guys and really. Yeah. You know, we ain't got nobody to sub. Tay doesn't get a break. Yeah. So uh, it's yeah. it, we 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 feel comfortable. I mean, even then last the year, like we had it. You know what I'm saying? Like we we technically, I mean, we both we you know us three, we feel like we won that game. 
Um, just that that Elam ending, you know what I'm saying? That's just something that, you know, we have to, you know, do, you know. Um, but it happened, you know. So even with, you know, six guys last year, like, we still did our thing. So even if, you know, it is six, seven guys this year, you know, and it might not be nine, ten, but I still think we'll be fine. And we'll feed off the energy, you know, in the arena anyways. I'm sure a lot of, a lot of K-State fans are going to be there. And probably, you know, I think, you know, it's so good to be in Wichita too because I think just – Kansas basketball period, you know, Kansas State, Wichita State, and us. You know, I think Wichita State people are going to watch us, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to be nice, and I'm sure they will root for us in, in a way, and it's all, you know, the same. The, the Marcus Foster story feels cool. He had a great career at Creighton, of course, and then it felt like, you know, got eliminated by K-State, but him and Bruce were, were cool and everything. What was the process of bringing him in, and how nice is it to have him on this roster? Man, I think we talked about it uh last year after we lost uh, about getting some uh, younger guys uh, in and uh, Gib brought up Marcus's name and you know they're both, they're both from Texas so uh, we, we all still keep in touch with each other we were all in California for NCAA 2017 uh, me Marcus and Justin we all played together in Korea so we, we've talked about it a lot about bringing him in and Justin as well so uh, it's been on our mind for a while just uh, good to get him back and have another opportunity for all of us to play together I mean, to have this kind of open door policy to come back here and use facility, practice against the, the younger guys. I think it's um, it's awesome. We, I know for myself, graduating six years ago, I've come back every summer, um, and it's just it, the resources here are extremely like great for guys like us because a lot of times overseas we might not have the access every day to like a cold tub or the treatment, um, and then on top of that, playing against high level guys because these guys are really good. Um, you're sharpening it's iron, sharp and iron. Um, so we're just very thankful for, you know, the coaching staff to be able to let us do that every year or every summer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just trying to keep up. I mean, just imagine trying to keep up with 19, 20-year-old kids, you know, <laughs> sprinting, you know, and we, you know, 26, 28, you know, trying to keep up with them. So like he said, iron sharpens iron. It's, it helps out both ways. You say that and you used a phrase earlier about people being in different parts of their lives. Like mm -hmm. when you see the, the three freshmen in mm -hmm. a different part of their lives, like what do you think? You see those guys in the shoes you were in, you know, eight. Nine, it's a long years. journey for them. It's a long, <laughs> yeah. it's a long yeah. journey. But it does also, as long as the journey is, it, it goes by fast. Yeah. Uh, I tell people all the time, it really does not feel like I graduated six years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it, it is, and I, you know, I try to talk to them. It's like make the most of your four years because it's gonna go by fast, especially if you win and you're having fun. That type of thing, it goes by fast. But it's an incredible journey. Yeah. <laughs> Six years ago? 2013, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys all play last season? I was in Indonesia. I played uh, South Korea for half of the season and Mexico for the rest of the season. And I played in Turkey and then I went back to Finland. How fun is that? You're seeing the world. You're seeing the world, but I, it's, it's, it's worth, a gift you know, and a curse. It's a, it's a gift and a curse. Yeah. And that's why I've always, uh, for all the guys who's played at K State for the past, 15, 15 years we've reached out to. It's an opportunity to play in front of your family on TV where, you know, for me, I was a whole half a day ahead. So a lot of times my game's two in the afternoon, it's 12, <coughs> it's two in the, at night, you know, and my mother has to get up to watch those games if she can. So, I mean, it's fun because you're still playing the game, but it's um, it's hard being away from family and mm -hmm. they're not being able to see you and you yeah, just miss things. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, But like the traveling, like when I when I'm over there and I get to travel and see certain, because I also played in the Philippines and Shanghai this year. It was a lot of <laughs> keep going. <laughs> it was a lot of uh, great things we got to see. I got to see, especially like visiting Bali and stuff like that. It was it's incredible, but. You know, like Thomas said, it's a gift and a curse. Could Shane still hang with you guys? Look at him. <laughs> he Shane, everywhere. Shane is elite forever. Yeah. Best shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> How much pride in general do you take in, in, in this program? You know, two big full titles in the last seven years. Um, how, is it great to be able to go on the road, go to these countries, play these other players, and, and say you're from Kansas State with the success they've had since you guys have left? Yeah, I just I just had Brandon Green in Finland. He was there for a week or so, so I was chopping it up with him about the whole rivalry and right. everything. But um, I I think it's 
especially, you know, the run that they had this past year. Um, I couldn't be any more proud of the guys, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we come here year after year after year, like Tay said, and we watch them grow, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like you said, iron sharpens iron. So we, when we see that, you know, we're extremely happy when we're overseas, man. Like, I'll be on Twitter going crazy on people just, you know, just because I, I rock with K-State forever. Yeah. What's it been like for you guys to see Wes and, and Rodney have the success that they've had and sign their, their deals this offseason? Uh, I mean, for me personally, I, I was talking to Coach Larry today, and I will always tell him none of that surprises me because of the work they put in. You know, I didn't get to play with Wes, but Wes was we hosted Wes on his on his uh on his his visit. So and every summer when he came back we always seen Wes working on his game, you know, but you know, graduating with uh Rodney, I've all you always see the type of work or uh, ethic he had. Um so a lot of the success that they have at the next level, it doesn't really surprise me. Anything else for these guys? All right. Thank you. Anything, Shane? Oh, wait. Shane? <laughs> I was going to say, um, if you all could uh, just share a link uh, on Twitter, we we still trying to get some votes. Uh, I think we're 450 votes shy of getting Javon on the team, uh, adding him to the roster. We need 1,000. We're at uh, 550 right now. So if you guys could uh, share a link or share a link right here, it's going to be a <laughs> TBT, purple and black. You know, make sure you go out there and vote. Share that link out. What? 2019. 2019. Hashtag TBT 2K19. Oh, purple, purple black 2019. You, you messed it up. This is how you know. But you got the drill. They understand. I didn't